guys, welcome back to rural Iowa. This is Matt. Just wanted to check back in on the status of what's going on with the boat motor. We decided to order an impeller because it was not pulling water through the engine. So we uh, got that part. We're replacing it first. We gotta pull off the lower end of the unit to be able to get to that pump, which you can see when we pulled it off before, that's the old one on the left and the new one's on the right, so it's pretty worn out. So we're gonna get that replaced, and it didn't go as well as we really wanted it to, but we got it figured out. Um, it's all part of the process. We're just trying to make sure that this motor runs because there's no sense in taking it on a six and a half hour drive to find out that the motor doesn't work. So uh, we get through this. I just want to show some footage of getting uh, getting lower unit off and then we run some water through it, have a little issue getting the impeller to work. I'm guessing that uh, while it sat for five years that uh, some sort of creature crawled up into the hose that's supposed to eject water out and uh, well we end up getting it cleared out with an air hose but uh, yeah this was a good experience I'm not good at working on boat motors so yet again can't thank my uh, dad enough for helping out with this because I wouldn't know where to start with a boat motor I know that he has limited experience but he knows more than me definitely so but yeah just follow along guys and uh, I think the motors finally good to go we might do some footage of it back out on the water um, I don't know if you guys want to see it let me know go putts around somewhere but other than that just working on uh, doing the interior right now which we'll get a video out soon on that so got less than 10 days this was shot a few days ago, just behind on getting videos up. So, But go ahead and enjoy watching it. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I don't know. Enjoy it. All right. See you guys.
earmuffs. Put the muffs on the bottom of the intake to check and make sure that we're pulling water through. I already told you we had some issues doing that, so, uh, like I say, I don't know what had crawled up into the hose and made a blockage, but something had gone up there and blocked what we were uh, trying to get free, so couldn't quite get it figured out. And then also, when we pulled the lower end off and then reinserted it, the shifter did not get put back the way that it was supposed to get put back so um, we'll see that here in a little bit but yeah just hooking up the battery terminals because you obviously don't want to have your battery hooked up while you're working on your boat because that could always end up in disaster um, and now we have Niagara Falls as I hurriedly try and get the fuel hose put into the gas tank and prime the system and get it started to pull water. This time we decided we should probably be taking the lower end back off and trying to figure out how we speed that up. So let's get to tearing this off.
that's all I got for this episode. We worked on getting the spindle and hub off of the right side of the trailer because we need to get that replaced. Um, seems to be pulling water good now through the motor. Uh, we'll check it again. We'll probably take it out to the lake or something a lot closer than where we went last time. Just to make sure, but uh, things seem to go well. Um, I don't know. We're working uh, down to the wire trying to get stuff done here, but really glad that I got people watching, supporting. Um, you can follow me at Rural Iowa, no space on uh, Instagram. I'll put a link up in the description. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. And this has definitely been a journey. So take care and uh, have a good day, evening, whatever you got going on. So thanks, guys. See ya.